Hey, Red Lipstick Club, I'm back. <laughs> hey guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video if you love it at the end. We're trying to build our community and have a lot of fun over here. If you're coming back, you guys, welcome back. You know, I love you guys. So much fun in the comments we've had. I've been trying to respond to everybody, so I've worked really hard to do that. I think I've got everybody so far. Um, but definitely make sure if you're having a good time, if you're excited to be here, put some lips in the chat, put some glasses in the chat. You know, it's something I love to do. I am back with my black ones today. I have purchased a few new glasses. So if you see some fun ones in some of my videos, be excited about it. Also guys, I have, I have like minimal to no reflection. Your girl has figured it out. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully this helps. If you guys were like a little bit distracted, thank you for sticking with me and also subscribing, even though you were stressed out about it. Thank you guys for sticking. Hopefully this will help it. It'll be a lot easier, a lot smoother, but we're going to have fun. Either way, you guys know I subscribe to Gwen on Patreon. I feel like it's been worth every bit of my $5 every single month. If you guys are not subscribing to Gwen on Patreon, I feel like you should absolutely do so. I know a lot of people also subscribe to McKelty. I haven't subscribed to McKelty yet. I feel kind of back and forth because I feel like I'm wishy-washy about her, but I still want to support her. So I will always pushed people to support McKelty because these kids that were on this show, you guys, literally for over a decade and didn't get a dime from it. So I'm like, can we make sure that these kids walk away with something from being on reality TV? Besides their parents, I guess, doing what they do, can the kids walk away with something from being on this reality TV show for as long as they were? I think that's always something I think about too when I think about TLC and how they set up not one of the kids from any of these shows for success. No no accounts that actually are, money is funneled into. I feel like we should have a real conversation and a dialogue around that, especially because we're having all the writer strikes right now. But that's neither here nor there. We'll have another discussion on that. But take care of the kids, you guys. Subscribe to their Patreons. Um, also, you guys know that I did watch Gwen's live a few weeks back maybe like almost yeah a, few, a couple weeks back because she did it for episode one and two so I watched those with her and she would spell all the tea in those we were able to ask her a million questions well she did the same thing honestly you guys for episode four so you guys know Janelle requested that McKelty and Gwen not react to and watch episode three we all have seen episode three where Cody and Janelle get into probably one of the worst arguments we've ever seen. They're cussing at each other. I probably wouldn't want my child to watch that either. So I'm not shocked at all that Janelle was like, "If can you guys skip this episode, please? Like, I do not want to see you guys react to this and then see all these bloggers talk about it after the fact. So I totally understand that. But we were still able to ask questions. So even though she did not react to episode three and maybe things that maybe happened in episode three or things surrounding that there was somebody great I wish I knew the person's name if you know them if you guys follow Gwen and see the person's name that gave Gwen basically a synopsis of what happened in episode three I feel like that really helped because it set up episode four so Gwen could be really honest and clear about how she felt watching that episode if you guys have been watching my uh my content you guys know I've had almost like a little bit of a special place in my heart for Gwen and also for Leon, for me personally, you guys, I am really involved with the community, the LGBTQIA plus community here in Arizona. I'm in, I live in Arizona. It's something I'm very passionate about. So when I see the community not being treated right, it is, it's like a red flag for me. So I'm going to point it out. I'm going to call it out because it doesn't happen all the time. And it was just very glaring and alarming to me that the two children that connect themselves to that community were the two kids that we did not see at all at anything. And for me, it's one thing if you choose to not be there. It's quite another if you were never invited to the party. And so I don't know about Leon. Leon hasn't really talked about it. So I don't know if Leon was ever invited. And Mary kind of feels out of the loop. So I would not be shocked if Leon was like, I'm cool, mom. I, I'm not going to be there. See you when I see you. But Gwen lives in Flagstaff. And Gwen revealed to everybody on the Patreon that Gwen was not invited 
not only not to her father's place for Christmas, Gwen was not invited to their mom's house either. Now, you know Gwen has some issues with Peyton. And I'll tell you right now, for me, it's... I, the triggering is not the word, but I will say that it was something that I recognized from my own experience. Um, having a relationship with a sibling that it, it's just not healthy. And because they because they come across as somebody that needs everybody more, you tend to be put off, right? You tend to be the um, the child that gets things second because this kid needs it more. This kid needs more nurturing. This kid needs more assistance, help. They need more support. And so they'll end up inviting that kid to holidays and things like that. And you'll be kind of put on the back burner because you said, I guess I could go to California. And they interpreted that as, I'm just not going to extend any kind of invite to you. So I've also talked about too how I just don't think all the parents are squeaky clean. And it's funny, I posed the question if I if anybody really thought that number one, Janelle would have left Cody if he would have told her that he wasn't attracted to her. And I basically pointed out, I don't think at all she would have left him. And she might be more confident now, but I think 20 years ago, 20 years ago, Janelle would not have left Cody for that. She would have figured it out. And I would not be shocked, honestly, if this entire time he really wasn't physically attracted to her. He was mentally attracted to her because she was smart and engaging. But it would not shock me in the world, y'all, if he came out and said he was never attracted to Janelle, to Christine, to none of them. It, I would not be shocked at all if that's what it is. But when I look at how, how Gwen is looking at the situation and not being invited to her mom's, not being invited to her dad's, there is more than one person in this scenario that is not not doing right. And I don't think any of these parents are squeaky clean. Many of them have had a lot of things dealing with parentification of their children, which we have seen, especially with Logan and Aspen. Um, they Them being put in a situation where they're taking care of their siblings. Um, and I'm looking at Gwen's situation and I'm, I, I wouldn't say that I'm concerned, but... I, I don't know if Christine is being as transparent as she should be. I think she put a lot of, of the weight of her relationship with Cody on her children. And I remember, and I'm sure you guys remember, when uh, Isabel was talking about how almost codependent her mom was with her regarding relationships and just kind of talking about everything. And I don't know how codependent Christine was with her children when it came to the relationship. And then I'm also now fast forwarding the codependency that maybe Peyton has with his family and not having to take any accountability or responsibility. And now Gwen is having to take the hit because her brother has no accountability. All of them have an air of performance, even Gwen. Gwen has a performative air about her. And I think it's kind of funny because I feel like they get it from a combination of Cody and Christine. They are two very performative people. So it's almost, it's like you get these two very performative people together. They have these children. And then you have these kids in a situation where there's so many of them that nobody gets enough attention, right? And I think if any of the kids that are showcasing having a lot of performative attributes, it would be Christine's children. And you're seeing it a lot with McKelty. You're also seeing that with Peyton and with Gwen. And actually, you also see it a little bit with Truly. Um, when she was doing that whole speech and toast at the end, it was very performative. And it's interesting that you do not see that really with Aspen. You don't see it with Isabel either. So something happened in those mixes where a couple of the children strayed away from being performative and and a certain sector of them are extremely highly performative. And it could be, honestly, from just not getting enough attention. After all, Christine was called the basement wife. And I feel like that extended out to her children. And the kids almost feel like basement kids. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But if you have not watched it, you guys check it out. Jump on Gwen's. She also kind of airs out her mom a little bit. And I, some people don't like it. I feel like it, it felt pretty honest to me um, because she's not just talking about 
issues with her father. She's also talking about with her mom. And I think every child has that, you guys. Every kid, it, I don't think anything squeaky clean on any side. I feel like her father is incredibly neglectful. But in her review, she does highlight moments where she's having great conversations with her dad, but also calling him out and calling Robin out. I would say the best part of Gwen's review of episode four is how she calls Robin out. And then one of the questions that a subscriber asked Gwen was if you could ask your mom or your your mom, your dad, or your 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 mom's period a question, what would you ask them? And do you know the question that Gwen wanted to ask her mom and or, I don't know, what who she, what she wanted to ask Robin? She wanted to ask Robin if she really cared about them as kids like if she really cared at all that's crazy guys Robin has been with this family for 12 years and the fact that the question Gwen wants to ask her is did you even care about us at all I didn't think it was that I knew it was bad but that's bad y'all that is really bad um I'm waiting for these kids to end up writing like tell all books someday I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen um, because wow, Gwen laid it out. So yeah, I don't want to tell it all because I feel like it's not fair for me to say everything that Gwen said in that video. But I will say the huge takeaways were that was that Gwen was not invited to Christmas by either parent. So she was not invited to come to Utah. She was also not invited over the house to Flagstaff. And also if Gwen was going to ask her parents any question, she would ask what uh, Robin, whether or not she actually liked or loved the kids for real. Either way it goes, you guys, it's been great. Thank you for sticking with me. I do have straight hair, big hair. I was judging, um, a pageant today. If you guys don't know, I actually, uh, do some pageant training and some, uh, public relations media training. And so sometimes I judge pageants, random, random thing. So yeah, so I'm totally blown out. I'm I'm a whole moment, but I thought I would still come to you guys and have a chat and talk a little bit about this. If you guys are new here or if you haven't seen, I'm going to be doing a live tomorrow, Thursday. Well, actually not tomorrow. Today is Thursday. I'm going to be doing a live today. So 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. It's also AZ time. I live in Arizona. You guys, our time is super weird here. We don't change. <laughs> so the easiest thing to do is to connect us to California right now. So we're on California time. So we're going to be doing it at 7 p.m. I'm going to be online. We're going to chat about Sister Wives. We can chat about this. Tell me what you think. Have, if you have any questions below for me or any questions at all, just put them in the comments below. But also tell me, you guys, now that you know that Gwen was not invited to her to either parent, not just Cody, but also not invited to Christine, what do you think about that? Does it make you look at Christine differently or maybe Gwen differently? Does it, does it make you ask questions like what was going on? Why was Gwen not invited? I don't know. It had, it had me thinking about a lot of different things. I want to know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Until next time, you guys, I will see you on the live later. Bye.